Hey guys, Bruno here, welcome back to Farming Somewhere to 2019. Here we are back at No Man's Land, episode number 9 I think we're up to. Um, it is now early autumn, so I've gone all the way through summer. Um, everything's been planted and something's ready to harvest, as you can see here. We'll look at the map quickly, we've got field 1, 2, 3 and 4, 7 and 8, I think the numbers were, I can't remember now. Um, so 6 fields ready to harvest. Um, the only thing here is the soybeans, they were planted really late. Um, the corn and sunflowers also came in really late. I think the soybeans are planted like here, mid middle of summer. So I don't know if they're going to be ready to harvest this year or not. So that's, um, it's going to be a little bit of an issue I think. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things go. Um, quickly want to take you guys down far end of the map here. Well, the far end of our, our little little farm area. I've sort of had a little bit of a look around. I've worked out what we're going to put down here is going to be our pig pens. I've also measured up how big they're going to be and sort of put in a few marks. So like a mark here, a mark over here and another mark over there. So we're going to have to push all this in with a dozer and get it all level before we can go getting people to come in and install our pig barns. Also from here, I'll see through here and another mark there. We're going to have to push in both sides of the road so we can get it all level ready, as I said, for the, the guys to come in and install our pig barns, get them built for us. So that's one thing we're going to have to do, uh, let's say, before the end of the year, I hope, depending on how much money we make from this harvest. Because um, it's going to be... Let's throw all our lights on. It's going to be... Um, Quite expensive, I think about they did quote me about 30 grand per um, pig style or pig pen, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we're going to get two, so oops. So it's going to be um, quite expensive. Right, we've got our straw swath enabled, that's the main thing. I want to make sure we've got straw coming out of the back so we can collect the straw and then potentially um, sell it. We do have a um, Reasonably cheap baler that we can buy, so that's one thing I'm going to look at buying a baler. I think the shop um, had it for about 12,000, a little John Deere baler, so we'll pick that guy up and we can bale you know, all of our fields and that sort of stuff. And hopefully um, get some money out of our bales as well. We're going to need as much money as we can get to continue to expand our farm and, and that sort of stuff. Um, one other thing is I was thinking of our house. This is obviously a house at the moment. I want to get a better house than this. This isn't um, what me and my family had planned when we came to No Man's Land. So we're going to build a house over near the water behind our little outlook hut that we've got over there. We're going to build it over behind that in amongst the trees. So we're going to need to go over and work out how much land we're going to need. Get some trees cut down. Um, we're going to have to take those logs to the sawmill and they're going to cut the logs into the lengths that we need to be able to build our house over in there. It's already pre-organised, um, we just need to to get the local sawmill built somewhere. It's probably the most important thing at the moment. I don't want to take it too quick with that spraying out the back. So yeah, the local sawmill, we need to get one of those built in the area somewhere before we can obviously build our house. So. And that is um, expensive, as we all know. So it's going to take some time before we can get to that stage, but that's the plan. Getting your house put up over there amongst the trees. I think the guy from the sawmill told us it'd be about 400,000 um, if we can supply the huge amounts of um, huge amounts of logs and stuff and trees. About 400,000, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on how much we can supply. So we need to get to see, I guess, what we can get done. What we can get supplied for him, and then hopefully get a better price than that, because that's quite expensive. We'll get it as far below 400,000 as we can, I guess. All right, let's um fix this tractor back up. Get our normal wide tires back on there. Had narrow tyres on so we could obviously go around and fertilise the fields as we needed. Sprayed a fair amount of weeds as well. 
weeds popping up everywhere. Alright, let's get this connected up. Go and unload our first lot of wheat. All of this is going to go straight into the silo and then we're going to work out um, how much we need to feed our pigs for a full year, um, how much we can sell, that sort of stuff. I don't want to go sell them everything straight away. Um, we're just going to wait and sort of see and try and get the best price we can before we go, you know, too crazy with selling all of our crops. This thing's going to take quite a while to unload, I think. So first field of wheat, so we have what, barley over here, we have some oats down here, some canola over here, some more canola over here. I was potentially going to put canola into here, but I thought we'd plant the soybeans and just see what happens, but they're not ready to go yet, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, see what pans out. See if we can actually get those soybeans to grow properly, and hopefully bring them in because the soybeans in this area are worth a huge amount of money so certainly what we want to do is get the soybeans in and harvested if we can from the price of soybeans at the moment we have a quick look uh, the price of soybeans so that's dropped a fair bit that's 1877 they were up about look at the price of the crops soybean they were up, you know, three and a half thousand at the start of summer, so they've dropped quite a bit now. So I think we might have to wait before we go selling our crops, because that is quite a drastic difference with soybeans. That really is. I wonder if all crops are the same. No, not so much. Panola's a really good price at the moment. Sunflowers, corn's a little bit down, but the soybeans, they were three and a half thousand. Per thousand litres, that would have been a really, really good amount of money, especially with that huge field. So, I think we'll have to go through and harvest that over there and then keep them stored because we want that sort of money. That would be a huge payday for us if we could get that price again. That price is that is really dramatic. That price. Um, let's have a look at our animals. Yes, yeah, reasonably expensive for pigs, so we're going to have to, I guess, try and get as much money as we can. It's going to cost us about 60 grand to get both of the, the pig pens put in. Um, that's a deal we've done. It was going to be about 45 grand each, I think, for each pig pen. Um, but we've spoke to the local guy, said, if you want two, what sort of price can you do? And he sort of said, oh, we'll do, you know, 37 and a half each. And I'm like, no, that's still still too much. Um, how about, you know, 25? He's like, no way. 32 and a half thousand. And I was like, 30, and we've got a deal. So we got got a good price, 30,000 per pig pen. And that's with us leveling the ground, getting it ready for them just to come straight in and build straight away. So I think I think that was a pretty good deal. From, what, 90,000 down to 60,000. So that's, that's obviously a lot better for us saving as much money as we can Oop, wrong button Oop, wrong button again I want to bring up our map so we can run ourselves square with the field so this is our barley field as you can see another decent sized field I don't know if it's bigger than that one I think it's similar size maybe a little bit longer We're only going to get one run up, one run back, and be nearly full, which is going to be good. All right, so we've got our corn and sunflowers over there, which aren't ready to go yet. Another oat field over there, I think. So I did come back through and um, fertilise all the fields to stage three. I also came through and got rid of all the tree stumps off all the fields and stuff so none of those will be in the way anymore we're gonna have to wait till we get to the other end here park this guy up and um, 
go and empty our trailer into our little silo and then come back over and unload this guy. So 90% we're going to be pretty close to full by the time we get to the other end. Pretty close. Very close. I'll probably turn our lights off now. It's not overly bright but it's not that dark either I guess. Alright, so we'll go and dump this off. So, nearly 14,000 litres of wheat, so that's a good amount. Throw that straight into our silo, as I said, and then we can come back and sell it as we need it. So I think this is going to be, obviously, like a live play episode. Next episode might be um, a time lapse of us finalising the harvest on the rest of the fields going to take us quite some time to get all these fields done so look at the price of wheat again so it's it's a little worth a little bit more here not a great deal more but it's something we're going to need, need to keep an eye on is just making sure we're getting a good price something I don't normally do I normally just when I've got it sell it but we don't really need the money right now so if we sort of just take our time with you know selling and um, try and get ourselves the best price it's going to be the best for us in the long run um, what I want to do is I want to get our get our baler delivered so come in here baling technology we've got our John Deere 690 12,000 as I said 4,000 litre bales but we can change that capacity I think so I've got that um, Everything else in here you already know about. I did get a weight for our sprayer because it was quite um, quite heavy on the back of our little fed tractor. All these weeds here and stuff. We're going to come through and and hopefully mow and get rid of all these weeds around our field. Give them a good spray and that sort of stuff because I absolutely hate having weeds. I don't mind so much up in the trees there, the weeds up there, that's alright, but having weeds near our fields and stuff, it sort of doesn't look doesn't look nice in my opinion, so I think if we come back through with a mower and get all that cut down and spray them all, get rid of all the weeds and the bushes and stuff, we'll be much happier with how, how our farm sort of looks. This looks really, really run down, which obviously hasn't been farmed for quite some time, so it's going to take a while for us to get it up to up to a good standard I guess and having it look as nice as we want it to look these roads were still still in talks with someone to come through and lay down some dirt level it all out for us um, or some gravel I'm not sure what we're going to go with because it's across the whole map it's going to be cheaper to go with dirt I think um, and I think it's just going to fit better with our map at the moment, so still in talks with someone to come through and get all that done. As long as we push the roads in, uh, like plough the roads in and cultivate them so they're pretty smooth, they'll come in and lay the dirt down for a pretty cheap, pretty cheap price, so that's what we're going to do and hopefully um, they'll get it, get it done sometime before the end of this year the areas that we own and then next year once we continue to expand our farm area hopefully they'll start to um, get all that done as well but at the moment obviously they're only going to do the areas that we own not sure on a price yet they haven't fully quoted me a price on getting that done but it's not going to be not going to be cheap as you guys could probably already imagine it's not a um, cheap process to bring in truckloads of dirt and you know graders and rollers and whatever else so we're gonna have to get some money and get them in get it done hopefully it's not going to cost us too much like an arm and a leg or something I'll get this barley put into here and then we've got one more run down and then we've got our canola over here just fully fertilised, ready to go. 
This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good harvester. I like it. Nice old school harvester. It's quite slow at unloading, but I guess we'll just have to get used to it. So I still haven't cut all this grass around here yet. I wasn't going to worry about it. I do know there's an option for us to build a BGA on on our map somewhere. So that's one other thing I'm sort of thinking. If we build a BGA, where's the best place for it to be? Um, right in the center of the map, which is sort of where we are. Is the center of the map. You know, so where's the best place going to be for a BGA? We want it somewhere reasonably close, not too far to go. We know we're going to have our, you know, our meat factory, sausage factory down here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I don't know where where we'd put our BGA. I've also the local government or local councillors come to see me as well, and they've spoken to us about potentially using our dozer to push in an area for them to build a little. I wouldn't say it's like a retirement village, but to build a little housing estate in here for the older generation of people. Um, somewhere on the map, they're not exactly sure where they're going to put it yet. They've just sort of come to us and asked if we could possibly push in with our dozer, obviously. You know, prep the land with our dozer, um, cultivate it so it's nice and smooth, and then also help them out with them building it. So whether they want us to come back through you know with our dozer once it's built or with our cedar and seed some grass back in or something I don't know I don't know what their plans are fully they've just asked if we'd be willing to help um, they'd obviously pay us pay us for our, our dozer work and our cultivation work and that sort of stuff but I think that's going to be something that we could do which will be really cool sort of not only make money but help give back to give back to the locals I'm really going to have a full trailer here, I think. So yeah, help help with giving back to the locals and also bringing us a bit more income and doing something a little bit different. I don't know how many buildings they're going to put in or how many houses and how big the whole area is going to be and all that sort of stuff yet. So that's something we still need to discuss. Um, they said they'll they would give us a price on what they think our services will be worth for them to get the job done um, and obviously we can come back through it and you know barter a little bit but I guess I guess it's going to be a, a good thing for us anyway to be able to get out there and help as I said the local community get some more experience with those that work not just doing roads but doing flat level pads for the houses and you know all that sort of stuff so it's going to be It'd be quite an interesting task if they actually get us to do it. They did say that in talks with a few other people, but seeing as though this is where we've moved into to get this area back up to back up to standard, back up to you know being a nice area for people to come and visit and people to come and live in. So they did say that they were going to hopefully give us first first choice, first option as long as we can meet somewhere in the middle as far as our you know our prices go something that's good for me and good for them so I'm not sure where they want it to go at this point in time so I guess they'll have to they'll have to get back to us there's a fairly fairly decent area over here like a big hilly area over there they could put it um, but I'm not I'm not sure on what their plans are Alright, this is what our third field to harvest now. We've got this one and then we've got canola after it. Then we've got one more field after that, so we potentially might get all these fields done this episode. This is probably our biggest field to do at this point in time, I think. Field number four, I think we're at. One, two, three and four. I think this is four. Can't quite remember. I need to need to potentially take a screenshot of our fields here and, and print it out and write the numbers on them so I don't forget what field we're at so we've got um, a huge amount of future plans as I said like our pig pens our house where we're going to put our house in our sausage and meat factory 
Uh, we've got, you know, the local council asking us to help out with some building of some houses and stuff, so we've got a lot to do. And just hopefully we can get enough time to get everything done, and I think our priority is going to be our pig pens. That's going to be our number one priority at the moment making sure we get our pig pens put in, making sure we get some pigs hopefully by the end of the year. Might have to wait and see when the price of the pigs are at its lowest so we can actually get get more, more pork for our buck or more bait for our buck. I think that's certainly what we're going to have to wait, wait for, wait for a decent price, not rush into it. And then get as many as we can and get them all healthy and happy and hopefully having some babies so we can get those babies and, and grow them up, fatten them up and send them off to our sausage and meat factory and make a huge amount of money that way. Alright, so first lot of oats going in the trailer. It's going to be more than a full trailer, I think, from here. Got our canola over here ready to go. Potential harvest quantity, 7 litres, it's telling me. That's weird, only because it doesn't give you, you know, the field area. Because it's not actually part of the map, it's a custom field, so... Oh, what's that? This is field number 3. So I don't think we'll get our 5th field done this episode. So what is it? It's, um... We've got another two actually, we've got this one over here which is another oat field. What are the price of oats at the moment? Yeah, oats are pretty good. I can't complain with that. I'll we'll have to make sure we're getting our, our best price as I said. Alright, come through. Need to get this finished and I think so I think maybe next our next episode will be um, finishing our harvest as a time lapse and also making our bales as a time lapse as well. I think that'll be our next episode. The bales will pretty much um, they'll pretty much all be sold anyway because we're really not going to need them at the moment. Don't have any cows or anything. We've got a few straw bales sitting back there for the pigs, so we might end up just keeping a couple and selling the majority of them because we're not going to need them all. Alright, there we go. I did have a, an idea of doing a custom fence as well around our whole property, but it, I sort of had a look at it and did it. I did it for about an hour um, and I did get very far, so it would take us literally It'll take me 10 hours or more to get this fence put in around the around the whole farm with the idea I had, so we're not going to go with that. We're going to leave it open, I think, like we've got it at the moment. Um, people obviously know that it's, it's our farm, and hopefully they'll stay off our fields and that sort of stuff, but we've got um, our gates at, at either end and some fences down our, oh, up our northern end, up this end, so does look respectable at the moment. Obviously all these weeds and stuff, I want to come through and mow and get rid of all the weeds. Just make it look nice, as we said earlier on. Alright, it's going to be a couple more passes, I think, and then we'll be... we finish this field and ready to head on over to our canola field. So I haven't had too many dramas with the trees that I haven't cut down yet. Um, I guess with using coarse play and stuff, sometimes they do have some issues with the trees, but I haven't had too many issues. There were some issues down the other end, just down the south side of our soybean field, so I had to go through and purchase that bit of land and cut down a couple of extra trees. Get them out of the way, just to get that finished properly. Other than that, it's been pretty good. Haven't had too many dramas. We've gone through a little bit of money. We've only got 70 grand left, so... We need to try and stop spending so much money. And wait and bring some more money in. 
Alright, we'll go and get this guy unloaded and then we should be nearly done. Maybe a run in a bit. Might have to do a, an extra pass on the way back up or something. These few little small bits I'm not going to worry about too much. Should have a decent amount of straw come out of it as well. So we can get our front load attachment for this guy and our bale forks and stuff and get them loaded up onto a trailer and get them sold. God, I love the sound of this old track though when it starts up. It certainly makes it sound really old. It is just really slow unloading. Alright, there we go. It's definitely going to be two passes, so we're not going to get this all in one pass. It's going to be close, but it's not going to happen. So one run down, one run back up, and then um, over to our other big canola field, which I think is, no, I wouldn't say it's bigger than this one, I'd say it's a little bit smaller than this one. This one's a bit longer, and it's got a bit more of an angle to it, so possibly even wider than that one. I'm still really shocked at the, the soybean prices, how, how quickly they dropped. I was um, really surprised. Because that was um, a really good amount of money that I seen, three grand. I was like, wow, that is going to... That was going to be good for us, a huge income, but it's just not going to happen now. Not until next year, I guess. Alright, so we should nearly have a full trailer, I would think. We head on over and get our canola started. I might even get a, a hide worker over there, or even our... Um, Get our course play over on that field. Cool. Tractor takes off by itself. Harvester even. Um, Alright, let's get field 3 outline, which is what? This is field 3, you said no. Field 4 outline. Course generation. Um, Alright, get him over started on that field while we go and um, get the other field done. Let's have a look at this. Turn on field deactivated. I'd rather not turn on the field. Some of these fields you're going to have to, like this one because of all the trees, but I can make it so he doesn't turn on the field. That'll be a lot better, I think. Alright, let's get him to do his thing. Actually, need to grab a screenshot too, so. Try and get that done. Something like that, that'll do. Alright, grab our tractor, we'll go and tip this off. Yeah, eighteen and a half thousand litres, so pretty close to being full. Obviously our canola's not gonna not gonna be as good yield as this, but it's worth a little bit more money. Alright, so all these people have been asking me to, to, to like get rid of all these buildings. Most of these buildings are probably temporary. Um, we will eventually upgrade our buildings and and our silo and all that sort of stuff, but at the moment can't afford to do that, so we need to just use what we've got what we'll give him when we brought the land and go from there have a look here, what have we got? so we've got more more barley than we did oats interesting, I thought that field was definitely bigger than the barley field, but 
I don't know. I certainly would have thought it would have been. Right, so this guy's doing his thing. Wait up this end so we can unload him when he's heading back down the other way. I think he goes short 15 kilometers an hour. If I remember correctly. Travel back down with him and unload him. Seeing as how it takes takes so bloody long. Right there he goes. Let's turn around the other way. Hopefully he doesn't. So hopefully he doesn't back into us. Run alongside, but maybe it's not 15. Should be, I'll say it should be 10. I don't know why I thought 15. Even 10 might be a little bit too quick. No, 10 should be right. I will unload him. He's only got a few more passes to go. Other three passes, I think. Try and get as much as we can. Oh, there we go. Go back up the other end and get ready for him to come back down again. We've still got our other oat field over there, another canola field. We're still waiting on those two and the soybeans to grow as well. It's all going to take a little bit of time for those to grow. I think another few more days. Uh, if we have a look. Yeah, so they sort of. Oh, sunflowers might be. And corn might be in a couple of days. Soybeans, I'm thinking early winter. So I'm really fingers crossed we don't get snow or anything early winter, which is going to cause issues with us harvesting our soybeans. Keep them in storage till the price goes back through the roof and sell them if we can. That's the way we're going to make most of our money, I think. Just going to back into us then. I'd say one more run. Yeah, it's going to be another run back down as well after this one. It's going to be reasonably close. So, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series so far. It's brought a lot of new subscribers to the channel and a lot of, um, you know, new likes, comments, and views and stuff. It's been amazing. Um, the amount of support I've gotten from this series so it's a huge credit to you guys for being a part of it and having your own input and that sort of stuff but certainly what I wanted to do with this series is have you guys have as much input as you like and um, be a part of it oh, it's a beautiful beautiful map Alien Jim has done a really good job I think the day I'm recording this episode, Sandy Bay has just come out as well by Oxygen David, so that's another map that we can possibly look at. I'm probably not going to look at it anytime soon because I've still got um, Somerset Farm, our Rags to Riches series there. We've still got our Slovak Village series, which we're up to, you know, 30 odd episodes and we're still nowhere near finished of what we want to do, so those two are still running plus this one. Plus uh, my Mount Togo time lapse series, so I just can't afford. Well, I can't afford to. I can't find the time to add a whole other series to the channel at this point in time. I'm trying to get No Man's Land as a daily, a daily episode. So it's probably going to be the priority out of all the series at the moment, No Man's Land. So having one of those every day released um, is going to make it hard to look at anything else as well as our three other series too. So just have to um, go with what we got and maybe look at Sandy Bay a little bit later on. So what we'll do is we'll get this guy emptied out completely and then we'll um, see how much canola we've got. We'll go and dump it off and um, call it an episode I think. Right, stop driver. Uh, save that as field 4. Field 4. 
harvest. Get rid of that. Beautiful. Now he needs to head over to that other field, but I can do that off camera. You guys don't need to sit here and watch that. Alright, we'll go and dump off our canola. Only 13,000 litres, but at the current price, where's our canola here? 1,800, so pretty much double, so about 23,000, 25,000. Isn't too bad for a little field, it's pretty good. Right, so we'll dump this off in the silo and um, yeah, we'll move on to those other fields next episode of it as a bit of a time lapse. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you've got any ideas or suggestions, etc., leave it in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.